Salinization is the increased salinity of land. It can be so extreme that farming land needs to actually be abandoned and it can no longer grow crops. And that's becoming an ever uh, increasing problem around the world where land that was once fertile and able to grow crops is no longer able to and farmers have to abandon that land. And that often means deforestation to clear more land to then start the process again. So what's that process? I want to talk you through it now. In nearly everywhere in the world where uh, crops are grown, the land is irrigated. So that of course means that water is taken from somewhere else and placed onto the crops. So I'm just going to represent that here with a hose, but of course it's probably not going to be a hose, it's probably going to be sprinklers or something. But we have water that gets irrigated onto the land. So large amounts of water uh, are put onto the land and because the more water that can be placed on the land, the larger the yield can be. In other words, the faster the crops grow and the more crops grow. But the thing is, even if it's, um, it's fresh water, um, there's still some salt in the water. Where do they get this water from? Well, it could be from a waterway. Um, or it could be from a bore, so, you know, groundwater or um, uh, an aquifer. So the water is taken from somewhere else and put onto the land. So even though it's fresh water, there is still some mineral salt in the water. So that water goes onto the land and some of it gets taken up by the plants and eventually evaporates through a process we call transpiration. So pass, some of the, the water evaporates up through or, or passes up through the plants and evaporates through transpiration, but importantly it's only the water that does that, not the salt. And as well, sun beating down onto the land causes evaporation of the water. So again, evaporation of the water, but not the salt. So whilst we're putting salt and water onto the land, the water evaporates and the salt remains behind. So we have an increased concentration of salt being left behind. Now, a a another double whammy here is that we have the water table. So that's the, the water that's underneath the ground. When we're putting water um, through irrigation onto um, the land, the, the land that's under crops, we get a rising of this water table. So the actual water underneath the ground, so the water seeps through and the actual water table rises. Now, of course, in this water table is also dissolved mineral salts. So as the water table rises, well, so does the salt. The water table rises to the surface and the water evaporates, both through transpiration and evaporation, leaving the salt behind. So we have a larger and larger deposit of salt on the surface of the land to the point where crops no longer can grow. And we have this salinized, or, or this land with severe salination and Farmers simply need to walk away because the land is full of salt and no longer can grow anything. So that's salinization. And this is called the water table. So this is the water table and irrigation causes the water table to rise. The water table rises, takes salt with it, then the salt, the water evaporates off the surface and the salt remains behind.